Alright, what is up? This is Slow Plays, and I am here today to show you guys how to get Demon Slayer the Hinokami Chronicles in 60 frames per second with no HUD. If you want the cleanest experience for this game, I highly recommend that you guys follow every single step in this tutorial. It's extremely easy. All you have to do is just copy and paste a couple of files and download some things. So, real quick, let's go ahead and give a big master shout out to both Nin Tester as well as Lord of Anime for actually making these. Uh, the Nin Tester man over here created this 60 FPS hack. So, basically, all you need to do is you're going to go into your settings. So, let's go ahead and open those up real quick. So, this is where I'm going to show you guys exactly where you need to go. Now, I'm going to cover up. Uh, one little section because it has my name on it so you know you don't need to see that but uh, basically you go to this PC then you go to local disk with the little C uh, with the uh, you know colon and then we have users and then you go to your name or whatever you named your PC it could just be user okay then you go to app data then you go to local okay and now this is where things get a little bit confusing when you're in the local you know folder and everything okay you might be a little bit cute confused if you have not played the game yet okay because you will not see this apk file so if you do not see the apk file that means that you need to at least start the game up for the first time uh that was an issue with me i couldn't find this at first because i hadn't started the game yet so if you haven't started the game yet that's the main reason why you will not find this apk so find the apk then go into saved and then you're going to go into config and then you're gonna go to Windows, no editor, okay? And then you're gonna find this little file right here, which is titled Engine. All right, let's go ahead and double click on that. So it's gonna have all this, you don't need to worry about that. So basically what you do is in here, it's actually gonna give you a way that you just copy and paste. So this is what you're gonna be copying and pasting. So I'm just gonna link it down in the description. All you have to do is just copy and paste, it's a code. So just do Control C, and then you're gonna go back into the Windows No Editor with your engine. So open up the engine again over here. And then you wanna have it to where there's like one space like in between, okay? So then right here, and then you're just gonna paste it. That's it, that's, li that's literally it, I'm not even joking, all right? So it's gonna, you know, max out the values uh, instead of it being restricted to 30. I don't know if there's ever gonna be a patch in the future. Hopefully there is, but the game can run very well and it looks very, very good in uh, 60 FPS. So, Let's go ahead and save that. So once you save, you can close out of that. Now let's go ahead and go into this right here, which is the no HUD toggle. So you're gonna be using the caps lock to toggle on and off. Caps lock being, you know, the actual key on your keyboard. So all you have to do is scroll all the way down here. Again, I'll link it all down below and you're gonna download Demon Slayer no HUD toggle, blah, 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 RAR, okay? Make sure that you have WinRAR. It's something that everybody has. It's not hard to install. I'm not gonna do the tutorial on that. But all you have to do is just, you know, search up WinRAR, download it. It's free, okay? Even if it gives you a notification saying, oh, yeah, you need to pay for this or whatever, you don't actually have to. You just just use it, okay? Just use it. It always, for whatever reason, gives that notification. But go ahead and do a manual download. And once you download it, you're just going to right-click and extract it. So this is where you need to go next. So you might get a little bit confused, but again, I'm going to walk you through it. So go to this PC, go to local disk C, program files, times 86 or just program files wherever you can find this which is the steam file okay find steam then go to steam apps then go to common then go to demon slayer or kimetsu no yaiba or whatever it may be whatever your game is titled uh and then you go into the apk folder then you go into binaries and then you go into win 64 okay so if you haven't fucked with it you haven't messed with any of this stuff you should only have like two files okay this is the application that opens up the game. So once you extract that folder, uh, that's titled the demon underscore slayer underscore no underscore HUD, whatever, yeah, that folder, uh, once you extract it, okay, you should get this folder here and it's gonna have all this shit, all right? So shader cache, all this, blah, blah, blah. If you played Xenoverse 2 or played any HUD, uh, you know, no HUD toggle and all that, it, you, not, you guys know what this is. So all you have to do is just copy and paste right in here. Okay, depends on how good your computer is and it maybe it takes some time, but that's all you do. All right, that's all you do. So let's go ahead and go in game and let's test it. Let's see how it looks. All right, guys, we are in game for the first time and it's looking kind of nice. It's looking kind of smooth, looking kind of clean. Not gonna lie, look at this, dude. Look at this. So 
Depending on your settings, again, if your computer isn't really that good, it probably won't be able to run the 60 FPS. If anything, just go to your options and then go to the graphical settings or whatever, and then you can kind of screw around with the settings and, you know, get it to your liking. So let's go ahead and jump in here. So uh, there might be some, you know, frame drops or whatever. Again, I'm recording this. So I don't have like a beastly PC or anything, but I, I will be able to show you guys uh, everything in a clean 60 FPS. Now, I think there are some parts in the game that are already pre-rendered, like cutscenes and things. So obviously that can't be in 60 FPS because it's already been, you know, rendered out in 30. So uh, let's just get into it and let's let's just do a little battle and everything. Oh, this is, bro, this is looking really clean. Let's go, dude. Holy shit, bro. This is, oh man, let's get Nezuko on here. You let me get my boy Zenitsu and I'm gonna slap up this dude, my man Sakonji Udo Kodaki. Oh yeah, so. Let's go ahead and try this out. Uh, again, I haven't really played anything on it yet on the PC version, but this is looking amazing so far. Uh, I've been playing on the PS4, and this just looks way better. <laughs> this looks immaculate. Look at my boy Zenitsu. This dude is frozen in time, but he said, I'm frozen in 60 FPS. That's right. <laughs> oh, man, shit, dude. Son. Son, this is clean, bro. Let's go. Okay, that's going to get... Yeah, that's right. You get some of that Zenitsu up in this, bro. Okay, so th there you have it. I mean, it looks great. It looks fantastic. Caps lock works, too. Look at this. I can toggle the HUD on and off like a mofo, bro. Look, this looks clean as all hell, bro. Mm -hmm. So, obviously, this is only good if you're usually going to be doing, like, I don't know, gameplay with screenshots. Or you're just trying to get a clean video display or whatever. It's really good for content creation. So, definitely uh, go try this out. Again, a real simple guide. It's, you know, free. It's easy. It only works for PC. I'm sorry to those of you that are on other consoles and stuff. It's just... That's just how it is. Again, hopefully there will be maybe a patch, at least on the PC version, that makes it so that it's automatically, or at least gives you the option to go in 60 FPS because it's been, you know, proven. It, it's definitely possible to actually do this or whatever. So, uh, switch over to my girl Nezuko here. So, I guess I'll do like an ultimate and we'll see how that looks. All right, let's see an ultimate art. Let's see how good this looks. Oh, no, this is looking pretty good. It's actually looking really good. Okay. <laughs> I thought there was going to be some parts that were like pre-rendered or something, but probably in the story mode, there would be some uh, pre-rendered things. But no, this looks fantastic. This looks amazing. Look at this, dude. Oh my God. Jesus. Yeah. Uh, this is the best way to play the game. All right. I wouldn't play it any other way. So guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy the video and it helped you, definitely drop a like for me. It helps out tremendously. If you guys have any other questions or concerns or anything that needs a tutorial on for this game, let me know down in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Deuces! This is Broly, and you are watching Slow Plays! Make sure to subscribe, or else I'll destroy your entire planet!